uh, let us solve an ACC exam question for linear programming and this is a 25 marks question very important for anyone attending ACC F5 or C5 Mac and BAB exam the question is states that Higgins company manufactures and sells pool cues and snooker cues the cues both use the same type of good quality wood ash which can be difficult to source in sufficient quantity so we are basically producing two products the first one is pool cue and the second is the snooker cues further it says that you use ash or wood ash which is uh, difficult to obtain it has sufficient uh, very difficult to obtain and it further says that the supply of ash is restricted to 5400 kgs per period ash cost dollar 40 per kg so the first thing to note is that the ash has a limited quantity of 5400 kgs to remind you we apply linear programming when there are more than two limiting sorry more than one limiting factor Second paragraph says that the cues are made by skillless craftsmen and uh, who are well known for their workmanship. The skilled craftsmen take years to train and it is difficult to recruit. These craftsmen are generally only able to work for 12,000 12, hours in a period. The craftsmen are paid at $18 per hour. So now we know that the craftsmen have 12,000 hours available. So we have two limiting factors. First is in terms of material that is available to us and second is in terms of labor hours that are available to us. It then states that uh, AC sells the queues to a large market. Demand for the queues is strong and in any period up to 15,000 pool queues and 12,000 snooker queues could be sold. So one more thing to note is that at maximum you can sell 15,000 pool queues definitely a market has a limit to the supply which a company can give to the market and the market has 15,000 capacity you cannot sell more than 15,000 pool queues likewise you cannot sell more than 12,000 snooker queues it has an upper limit on the number of snooker queues that you can sell the selling price for pool queues is 41 and the selling price for snooker queues is 69. After that it states that the manufacturing details for the two products are as follows. It says that uh, pool queues and snooker queues take this much of labor time, they take this much of material and there are certain other variable costs which are this much. HT does not keep any inventory and the requirement number one or a states that calculate the contribution earned from each queue so the first requirement is relatively really easy and this is reflected by the marks it is allocated to first requirement just two marks we know that contribution is selling price minus variable costs and we are supposed to calculate contribution for each type of queue uh, one of them is pool queue and the other is snooker's queue. Selling price for pool queue is 41. Selling price for snooker queue is 69. Now we will have to subtract all variable cost. One of the variable cost is other variable cost per queues which is simply stated at 1.24 pool queues and 4.7 for snooker queues. Furthermore, we know that the production of pool and snooker queue consumes ash. And in the first paragraph, we have been provided with the information that the per dollar, or sorry, per kg cost of ash is $40. The cost is given in terms of kgs. It says 40 per kg. However, the consumption is reported in 270 grams. And by basic knowledge we know that there are 1000 grams in 1 kg therefore the cost for ash for both queues since both queues use 270 grams the cost for ash in each product should be 40 per kg 
the rate multiplied by number of kgs number of kgs will be 270 which is grams divided by 1000 to convert it into kgs so our cost of material for each type will be 40 into 270 over 1000 and if you work it out it will come out to be 10.80 the material cost for ash in each of the products will be 10.80 lastly we know that the craftsman time per queue is 0.5 for pool queues and 0.75 for snooker queues so we will have to subtract the labor cost and if you see the last point of second paragraph it says that the labor cost is 18 rupees per hour for pool queues for pool queues the labor cost will be 0 0.5 hours into 18 which comes out to be rupees 9 and for snooker queues it will be 18 multiplied by 0 0.75 the hours consumed on a snooker queue so it will be 0 0.75 into 18 which is equivalent to 13.5 there are no other variable costs in question so our contribution per snooker and pool queue will be for pool queue it will be 41 minus 1.2 minus 10.8 minus 9 which is 20 and for snooker queues it is 69 minus 4.7 minus 10.8 minus 13.5 which comes out to be 40 we are done with the first part of calculating the contribution earned from each queue. Our answer is 24 pool queue and 44 snooker queues. Second part. Second part says the determine the optimal production plan for a typical period assuming that HE is seeking to maximize the contribution earned. The company wants to know how many units of pool and snooker queue it should sell in order to maximize its contribution. Now, HC or Higgins company will calculate its contribution as contribution for the company should be equal to contribution from pool queues plus contribution from snooker queues. Company has two products and if we add contributions of both the products computed individually, we will get the total contribution for the company how will we calculate the contribution from pool queues let us say that uh, number of units of pool queues sold is represented by p and each unit of p from our calculations in part number a shows that earns a contribution of 20 so 20 into p will give us the total contribution we can earn from the sale of pool queues p is the number of units multiplied by per unit contribution likewise for snooker queues let us say that the number of units of snooker queues that we sell is s and the contribution per unit from snooker queues is 40 so company's total contribution or c can be denoted by 20 p plus 40 s as per the basic concepts of linear programming this will be our objective function our objective is to maximize or have the maximum value of c which represents company's contribution which is equals to 20p plus 40s further the question says you should use a linear programming graph using the graph paper provided uh, since we have more than one emitting factor we have to use linear programming even if it was not stated Identify the feasible region. Feasible region is the region which satisfies all uh, the constraint, which fulfills all the conditions mentioned in the constraint at a single point of time, simultaneously at the same time. And the optimal point. Optimal point will be the point where our max, where our profits will be maximum. And accurately calculate the maximum contribution that could be earned using whichever equations you need. We have to draw a graph, we have to form constraints, we have to find the optimal point and we have to calculate the contribution at that optimal point. 
so we will continue the solving this question in our uh, part 2 of this video lecture thank you